So in this video, we will download and install R programming language and R Studio along with it. So let's start. So to download R, first of all, you have to go to this link and I will post this link down in the description below. Once you reach this page, you can see uh, the link for C Randit in here, right? So click on this link and you will be directed to this page. Here you can see there are different C Rand mirrors here and you have to choose them depending upon your location. So choose one of them. I'm going to choose this. And then here you will be directed to this page. So uh, if you want to download it for Linux, you can choose this one. For Mac, this one. Since I want to install R on Windows, so I'm going to choose this link. All right. Now here you have to click on install R for the first time. And then here you can see this is the latest version for Windows. You can click it and your download will begin. So that's it. Now that R is successfully downloaded, let's download R Studio. And I will post this link down in the description below. So once you reach this page, you will see the download button here on the top of the page. Click this button and you will be directed to another page. Here, scroll below and you can see R Studio desk Desktop. So we will be installing this. Click this button, download. And here you can see it has already detected the version of my uh, system and it has recommended me uh, this version uh, for installation of R Studio. So I, I will click this. But if you want uh, some other version, you can scroll down. You can see uh, these are different versions for Windows, Mac, Ubuntu and so on. Right, so you can choose from one of these. Right now, I'm going to click this and my download will begin. Yes, it has begun. The latest versions of R and R Studio has been successfully downloaded. Let's begin our installation with R. Double click this exe file. Press OK. Next, you can see here that it will create a folder named uh, R 4.0.3 inside the uh, folder R inside program files. That seems fine. Press next. All right. So here you can see that the current selection requires at least 205.5 MB of disk space. And here you can see that it is installing both the 32 bit files as well as the 64 bit files. So if your system is 64 bit, which will probably be the case, then uncheck this 32 bit uh, files right so here you can see that now the uh, disk space is 155.0 mb so you can you have saved a little bit of space press next and i personally choose the customized startup you can choose it defaults if you want okay so there are two types of interfaces in this the first one is mdi and second one is sdi mdi stands for multi-document interface and STI for single document interface. Now, multi-document interface means there will be one big window and multiple uh, other small windows inside it. While STI means there will be separate windows. So I'm going to choose MDI. Press next. Leave it as it is. HTML help. Next. So this is your start menu folder. If you don't want to create a start menu folder, you can uh, check this checkbox. Press next and leave them as it is. If you want to create a desktop shortcut or quick launch shortcut, you can choose. You can select these checkboxes. Press next and your installation will begin. So the installation has finished. Now let's install our studio. Double click here. Press next. This is your destination folder. Press next. And this is your start menu folder. Just click on install and it will begin the installation. Easiest installation ever. <laughs> 